Evening guys, tonight I have a big announcement to make, and it involves Venom. <laughs> yep, the fi my my videos on this action on, on unboxing and showing off this action figure has hit more than 100 views. Yeah, and it helps to come to my realization that there's other things we should be doing to fight back against the Hollywood machine and not just keep push pressuring Warner Brothers to give us the, to hand over the re remaining DCEU films over to Netflix for Zack, Zack, Zack Snyder to work on it in live action form, which are Superman vs. Brainiac, a.k.a. Man of Tomorrow, Batman vs. Deathstroke, AKA, a.k.a. The Batman, and Justice League 2 and 3, as well as the push for the haircut. But also, also, we should also be looking forward to getting, to getting, Director cuts, the director's cuts finished, completed, and released by other studios that have been, that are, have that have been, that have been doing poor. Well, how do I describe it? Oh yeah, that have, that are certain to have director's cuts on these movies. Venom, let there be carnage. Doctor Strange in the multi. Well, Venom, let there be carnage, which was distributed. And, and developed by Sony. Doctor Strange 2 in the Multiverse of Madness, which was made and distributed by Disney Marvel, and Transformers Rise of the Beast, which was the, which was made and distributed by Paramount. But first, I think we ought to take, I mean, yeah, we ought to take our attention, I suggest we shift our, shift our attention into starting a hashtag pressure, a hashtag campaign against Sony I'm getting Amy Pascal and the rest and her regime to start having her employees work on completing the full cut for Venom Let There Be Current and have it released on online and on on home video on home physical media, aka DVDs. After all, when we got this one when we got the Snyder cut to Zack Snyder's Justice League movie, it was really a true masterpiece. People's true artwork. It's well thought out, well balanced. So well balanced that it's not as so goddamn generic as you see in most superhero movie films these days as well, as well as other action movies. Now, first, I would, first though, I would love to focus more I would love for all comic book movie fans out there to focus on starting the the hashtag campaign. Release the Venom Two Circus Cut. Yes, and I'm sure we have reasons why. Number one, Venom is awesome. Number two, this movie was looked like it was rushed, retcon, and and held in theaters. And had its screenings runtime too shortened, way too shortened up. The comedy was getting too out of hand. And number four, and last of all, folks are starting to become bummed out by Sony's cowardice to doing a an actual R-rated movie with Venom. And that scene with them, Venom biting off the heads of those drug cartel guys in the trailer. They didn't have blood shown. And they say it's all because they didn't want to risk it and they were trying to gearing it towards kids. But to me, I feel like Amy Pascal and her entire board are children themselves up in here. <laughs> yeah. And folks are starting to get really, and with and with Seth Rogen working on an animated film movie which is set to be rated R, but also a comedy. It's really starting to bum fans out. Which is why I say we should start taking action seriously and get the full director's cut to Venom Let There Be Carnage complete and released onto, onto DVD and online for folks, for us fans to see. You hear me. You heard me. We gotta start fighting back against this totalitarian ego machine in Hollywood. Because right now it's 
The movie industry is totally contracting, and I, and as much as I let, and while I am still in part of the fight, uh, on, while I'm still part of the pressure campaign against WB to, to help restore the Snyderverse in live action movie format and get it over to Netflix, we also need to use this time to, to pressure Sony into completing and releasing the full circus cut to Venom Let There Be Carnage because there's 20 minutes, there's 20 minutes of footage that's got, that is missing and it needs to be restored to the, to the full cut so that we get a more fleshed out carnage in this movie. Cool. And, yes, and maybe even more, maybe even R-rated stuff, especially when it comes to when it comes to, and it should be R-rated as well. Not too much humor as well. Now, as I was about to show you, hashtag restore the Venom 2 circus cut. Hashtag restore the circus cut. Hashtag restore the Venom 2 Circus Cut in, in live action format. <laughs> and finally, restore the Let There Be Carnage Circus Cut. <laughs> That's right, folks. You heard me out. <coughs> yeah, you heard me. We've been getting ripped off by Hollywood since the early 1980s. Especially since Superman 3. Where they refused to give us a, a movie that has Superman fighting Brainiac. And chose to rip us off with garbage out of such arrogance, such ego, and such twisted lack of patience. These elites that run Hollywood, along with their top investor CEOs, are a bunch of animals. They're, meant, they're, too, they're a bunch of pathologically self-absorbed animals. And yeah, they have been only making the movies for themselves lately since, since coming out of the pandemic. And it is time we start kicking the fight, not only to Warner Brothers even more, but, but, but especially to Sony, which is the second movie to fall since Spider-Man 3. Sony's been holding back, and the way they frickin' retconned this whole thing, and it made it so short, really, it makes me feel like I haven't got a, gotten enough satisfaction out of it, just as much just as I've gotten so much satisfaction out of Spider-Man No Way Home. <laughs> so don't get me wrong, folks. We definitely need to get the circus cut completed and released on DVD and online. So remember, hashtag release the Venom 2 circus cut. Hashtag release the circus cut. Hashtag Hashtag, release the Venom 2 circus cut in live action movie format. And hashtag, release the Let There Be Carnage circus cut. That's right, folks. Today I am, my big announcement is that we are going to start a hashtag campaign to pressure Sony to stop kidding around and start getting more serious. Because if they're not looking to merge with any other studio or have any of their IP properties being sold, then they have got to stop fucking around and get the and get this full director's cut version to this movie made. So that's right, folks. So let's not forget. We are going to start. We are going to start our pressure campaign on Sony. We will get them to start cooperating. We are going to go after them next. So while 
some of you guys out there who are fighting to continue the Snyder, fighting to fighting for the restoration of Zack Snyder's DCEU, rally to me and assemble and rise up. We've got serious work to do. It is high time we focused on getting the director's cut version of this movie released, but also complete just to make sure it is the full thing. After all, I've, no I've noticed some YouTubers are and folks are getting agitated by all the lack of blood from Venom biting people's heads off. And that's one of the reasons why I feel like that, that, it, that it is time we start fighting for the director's cut to Venom Let There Be Carnage. And I'll tell you this, if Venom 3, The Last Stand, does not feature Scream and Toxin teaming up with Venom against the Xenophage, which is their predator... And their bane, their doomsday. And if they, and if this whole movie is completely retcon and completely overstuffed with way too much humor, we are to go full steam ahead on getting this, this movie, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, the, the director's cut, aka the Andy Circus cut of Venom, Let There Be Carnage released after all venom is one of the very is one of the last ips that have not been completely ruined yet by holly by the hollywood machine and it's high time we preserve and protect this ip and it may be the last one standing in all of comic book superhero genre lore so all of you out there get up uh, get your act so let's get to work, fellas, and I'll say it again. Rally to me. Assemble and rise up. Hashtag release the Venom 2 circus cut. Hashtag release the circus cut. Hashtag release the Venom 2 circus cut in live action format. And hashtag release the Let There Be Carnage circus cut. And that is it. Make sure you put those hashtags up on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere on social media. If you're all with me on this trip, on this mission, folks, it is high time we start take, taking some good inspiration from the Snyder movement and start focusing on getting the full circus cut to Venom, let there be carnage, completed and released so we can get what's been held back from us in theaters. So good luck, folks. And if you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe button below for more. And we should also be aware of what's yet to come our way in the future. So hear me out again. When you go on to your, so, on your, to your social media account site, make sure you type in the very hashtags I just sent to you from from this video over to you guys we have got to start looking out for our favorite ips and venom is bound to be the last marvel comic book character for the machine to even mess up he's also got a video it's his own video game coming up next year with harry being venom and i hope it does feature riot lasher and agony as bosses in the game along with carnage and do be aware here, some folk, we, Carnage is a po powerful and very popular supervillain from the Spider-Man and Venom comics, and we cannot tolerate the Hollywood machine's lazy ego any longer now. So be sure to get ready, folks. Type in those very hashtags I just sent to you. Hashtag release the circus cut. Hashtag release, release the Venom 2 circus cut. Hashtag release the let there be Carnage circus cut. And hashtag release the Venom 2, Venom 2 Circus Cut in live action movie format. That is all. Take care, folks. And be sure to find, go find yourself some of these cool Venom figures as well. Avengers Rising out. Rally to me. Assemble and rise up.